3D printer flip flops and crocs. What's up guys, my name is Carol Miranda and today we have a really fun project. I will turn our Arca slider, do not mix up with the Arca slicer, which is the children's slider into an adult one. And since we are on that, we will also print a pair of crocs, all in TPU. But will it work? Let's go to the video! For the crocs, I measure my foot and it is 24.5 centimeters. With that, on the slicer, I scaled up to 92.84% so I would have a wiggle room because I really don't want tiny crocs. And for the Orca slider, I sized up the model locked in so it would scale everything as a whole. I printed a part just to see how it would turn out and it looked weird. But I will show you later. Let's get to testing. To make sure the printing would go smoothly, I ran some temperature and retraction tests. First, I noticed the filament was humid, so I used a dryer box. Then after the temperature test, I got that the TPU we had here worked great at 230 degrees. So I ran the retraction test on the Ender 3 V3 SE, but it turned out very stringy. And to make matters worse, on the first try I used PLA settings by mistake, which resulted in a complete deformed print. Now, with the correct settings, I adjust the retraction to 3.2 millimeters, and it went perfectly. While I was printing a test for the Orca slider model, I also put a pair of crocs to print. I got super impressed with it, because the print turned out great. However, we had a few small issues. I printed it with 3 walls and 12% infill, but it was too stiffy. So for the other foot, I made some adjustments. I lowered it to 2 walls and 10% infill, and it got a bit better but still too hard. I think we can lower it even more to make it more comfortable. As for the size, luckily I sized up the scale a little bit because it was a tie fit. Check it out! I was so excited, I didn't even take it off the build plate to try it. I printed the top size of the slider to test it out, but it looked more like a neck brace than a slider. But I wasn't about to give up. Let's keep adjusting it. Now with it unlocked, I scaled up only the Y axis, leaving the X axis as is. So it would be long but not wide. Except I forgot my own feet is wide. And as soon as I saw it ready, I realized it wouldn't really fit. Off, I went again into the slicer, sized up the x-axis a little bit and printed again. The bottom part fit perfectly, but the top part was too short and I wouldn't squeeze my foot through. So I went and measured the height of my foot and adjusted the z-axis. I hope with this video you all remember everything you have to adjust before printing it, so we will avoid waste. And you might be wondering what I'm going to do with the ones that didn't work out. And well, I'm building an armor. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and check out STL Flix platform, the vastest STL subscription platform in the world, where you can access hundreds of files, as well as printing videos, tips, exclusive courses to improve your printing skills, and much more. After some adjustments, I finally managed to print the whole slider. Let's see how it turned out. Moment of truth. Forget everything. I'm only coming to the office wearing this now. So did you like it? Would you wear a 3D printed shoe? Tell me in the comments. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this one. And leave a like, see you next time, bye bye!